Well, first and foremost, it was great to be back out there and especially to be in front of our students. Man, they were incredible. When I walked out the tunnel and saw both end zones filled and right behind the benches and to feel their energy right away, it was, it was really cool to be back and to, you know, kind of have a continuation of how we finished off last season with their support um, right now, you know, tonight. Um, really proud of our team. I thought we played really hard, and that's the thing that I'm most proud of. I thought uh, probably for about the first 30, 32 minutes, I thought we played really, really hard. There was a moment there in the first two and a half minutes of the second half where I didn't think we were playing hard. That's why I called the timeout. It was actually about 16.06. It was right before the media. Uh, but I didn't like the way we were playing, and I was really pleased that we were able to snap out of it and come back out and do that. I thought our attention to detail defensively on the game plan and the scouting report, I thought all of our guys followed it to a T. Um, that led us to get out in transition to get some plays. Uh, I thought we executed very well in the half court. We had a period there where we couldn't make shots. I think we were stuck on maybe about 28 points or something for a little bit. And then this guy, Jorge, got us going, making a couple of threes and that kind of opened the basket for us. Obviously, Bub was terrific. Um, I was really pleased and impressed with how he just let the game come to him. He didn't hunt stuff. You know, he, he continues to play the game the right way, and that's important for kind of that lead guard position. He can score the basketball, but he also has a really good feel. And I was really, really impressed at how cognizant his teammates were of being close to a triple-double and then how excited they were that he was able to get it. Um, so really proud of our guys. It's, it's, it's a great opener. We were able to get out without any injuries. And uh, we'll take a day off tomorrow and get back to it. Bob, you uh, checked out of the game with 4.51. You sat down on the bench for, I think, three seconds and checked right back in there uh, in the second half. What, what, went, what went on in the bench there for you to go back in and then you know, what did it mean to you to get to go back in and finish off the triple double? Um, <clears throat> first, I will answer your question. But first, I do want to thank the zoo, like Coach mentioned earlier. They were incredible today. First time playing in front of, like, you know, an actual zoo, you know, first actual game. It was definitely an incredible experience. And uh, now, um, on a bench, it was like Coach came up to me and he was just like, you're going back in. That's all he said. He was like, you're going back in. You got to get what you got to get. In. And... You know, I trusted my teammates, and they got it for me. Did you know you were that close? Uh, I didn't. I didn't know I had that many rebounds uh, until someone told me, and they were like, you just need some assists to get it. And I was like, what? And I looked it up, and I was like, okay, I bet. Like, I had to get that. <laughs> let, let, let these guys answer first, and then I'll get you. Yeah, so we can get them out. Uh, one more time. I feel like it was mainly the the fact that the coaches trusted me enough to make the right plays and confident in myself. You know, I had to – no one just walks into a starting job, you know. So I feel like I proved myself in practice, you know, working hard, just doing – listening to coaches, doing what they tell me, and the fact that they trust me to make the right plays. And I feel like I trust myself to make the right plays as well, and I feel like, you know, that'll, that'll get anyone, you know, a starting spot. No, man. I, I was a freshman last year, and I'm telling you what he's doing is impressive to me. The way he stepped up, like um, coming in freshman year, you have to play the starter and be the point guard that is like uh, hard. It's like the quarterback, you know. You have to know everything. And, man, he's doing a great job. I'm so proud of him. And <laughs> Thank you. Bro, I was at half court and I was like, no. And I was like, yes. <laughs> I was like, you know, an old team got hyped with me and it was definitely a great moment. You ever had one before? Uh, uh, nah, yeah, I'm not pretty. I'm not. I had, I think, a few, maybe. In high school, yeah. Nothing important. Uh, no. It probably will hit me like tonight before I go to sleep, maybe. Guys that have experience that went to the NCAA tournament. How do these guys enable you to 
play your game and how do they enhance your game maybe when you're on the court? It's really just communication and trust. I'm telling you, it really goes a long way. Like these guys, I, first of all, I trust these guys because I've seen them do it. You know, I watched them all last year and I've seen what they can do. I've seen uh, the camaraderie they just had as a team. And then I step in and they're, they're sharing that same, you know, momentum with me. You know, they trust me to, to you know, get them the ball or whatever the case may be. And I trust them to, you know, finish the play. And it was kind of just like we m meshed together, just like a team built off, you know, communication and trust. Of course not. <laughs> uh, 2005. You know, obviously we know what Blake brings from a shooting outside tonight. He just made three, uh, two threes. Like Bob made four, you made three. Do you feel like you guys show that you can, you can get that scoring from other places? Not like Blake will get his, but you guys can get it from other places too. Yeah, I mean, um, Blake definitely get us open because he, he brings so much attention that. Um, our guys are helping on him, so that makes us open. And then we just need to finish all the, all the plays, you know. That's what we did. Well, you had 12 points in 10 minutes, I think, in the first half. Yeah, I don't know. What, what was that streak like? What, what were you feeling during that streak? I was just finishing plays. Um, the guys were hitting me. Uh, I think each got two assists. And Bob hits me the first one, and then Sag with the alley-oop. I was just finishing, honestly, just um, all, all their work. I'm very comfortable, you know. I've kind of I've known Jalen for like kind of quite a while actually, and I've always been like familiar with how good of a, a guard he is. So the fact that I can just you know, if they're trying to bring attention, I'm like, J go ahead, handle that. He will, you know. He's a really good guard, so I'm definitely really comfortable with him on the court. Jorge, what went into kind of stepping up defensive efforts that you guys put on tonight? You had another 27% shooting, you had nine blocks. What went into that? We just were hungry for it. We we went through it in practice and then we just executed it and it went great. Did uh, did you guys having so many guys being healthy really help because you allowed you guys to maybe play a lot more five on five and, and set each other out more? Yeah, I think it's that. And then we we're younger than last year, so that definitely helps too. Yeah. No, you. You're right. It definitely feels good, you know, to kind of just, you know, get your feet wet. But, you know, this first game, job's far from over. Okay, how, do you, how do you think Zach Austin helped you and Jeremy and that whole Jeremy thing? Um, well, Zach is a guy who brings a lot of energy for us as a team. And, you know, he was just looking for passes. He wasn't um, getting, like, obsessed with the scoring. And he definitely helped us creating space. And when he dribbles to the basket, and then extras. So, Bob, how do you how do you top today's performance? What do you got to do Friday to one up yourself? Uh, that's not even really something I'm thinking about. You know, the win, like you said earlier, the win is the most important thing. There's the stuff that comes after. You know, that's great. But at the end of the day, we're trying to be champions. That's what we're really worried about. I thought they did a really good job. Um, you know, we, we thought coming in that that team would be guard heavy normally at that level. Um, <clears throat> sometimes you don't have a lot of size, but you have guys that can put the ball on the floor, a little bit older, the two Juco guards. Dukes is a – I think he's a senior. Um, so we knew that, you know, they would try to attack us from there. And I thought those two guys, Ish, I thought they did a really, really good job of moving their feet. I thought we were in the gaps early and we were able to contain penetration. Um, and so I thought Bub and Jalen did a really, really good job of uh, of guarding the basketball. You talked about last week how this team's going to try to slash, try to make, force you guys to communicate on defense. How You talked about the scouting report, too, and how they responded to it. Where does this rank in, as far as like just performances where you get that kind of offensive performance but that kind of detail in yeah, I mean, it was good. It was good. But I'm I'm not going to overreact about good or bad. Like, we didn't shoot free throws well. I'm not going to overreact. Like, 
it was good tonight. You know, we'll study it and, and go through it and figure out how we can be better. But we know that the competition will continue to increase. And my thing for us is for us to get better every day. And I think we've done that. Um, look, if we wouldn't have performed well, I would have trusted what we've done up to this point. But we did perform well. We defended. We made shots. We shared the basketball. We had 21 assists on 40 field goals. So I'm pleased with how we played tonight. Um, now we have to handle it right and be ready to play against a Bingham team on Saturday to have some older guards. Is there, some, is there something to be said about all of that gelling so quickly into game one, given the amount of roster turnover and losing some guys from last year? Well, I think it helps that we do have guys back. You know, I know a lot's been made about the guards that we lost, and there's no one that wishes we still had them more than me. Um, but we do have a lot back. And, you know, we have our leading scorer and rebounder from last year back. We have a guy that I thought was the best defensive big in the league back. We have two guys in, 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 in the Twins that I thought were playing their best basketball at the end of the year and have gotten better. And then having Will back. Even a guy like KJ. So they have that DNA from those guys that we lost. They still have it. Um, you know, I thought it was great that for the majority of the summer, Nelly, Greg, and Jamarius were here. And there would be times when I would come in my office and I would see Greg working the freshman out, like doing stuff with him. I would see Nelly grabbing him and talking to him. They'd play pickup and I'd see JB talking to him. And so you have guys that have ownership. They have ownership. They didn't want to just be good last year. They want us to continue to be good. The guys that were a part of that last year, they want us to continue to be good. The new guys that we have, they want to be good. So they're kind of smart, so they listen to the guys that were here and that accomplished. You heard Bub say that. So am I surprised? I, I, I don't – not. Um, we have been together for a little bit. We took a trip to Spain. That certainly helps. Um, but I'm pleased where we are right now. Yeah, you know, it's – it's you know, some of it – Fetty has gotten better. I thought his work with the Finnish national team this summer really helped him. He was the last cut for the World Cup team. And I thought those guys did a really good job in the midst of them practicing and playing in the friendlies of working with him on the things that could help us. We had great dialogue with their coaches. And then since he's been back, like, he, I mean, he's really, really worked. And, you know, he's a good player – and he's going to continue to get better, we hope. Now, we know that as we play against bigger people, you know, more size, then how will that look? Certainly, they didn't have great size today, um, and we were able to take advantage of that. But we need Fetty to be a really good defender, to anchor our post, you know, to protect our basket, to screen, to roll, to lob, catch lobs, be in the dunker spot. And then when we do throw it to them to have a go-to move, and if they try to take that away to have a counter, those are things we're continuing to work with them with. Jeff, what qualities about Bob allow him to have a night like this in his first game? I just think, I mean, one of the things I was impressed with was that he didn't force it. He didn't force anything. Like, the game just came to him. I'm looking at the stat sheet at the halftime, and he has 7-7-5. Seven, seven, and five. And I'm thinking, like, I don't remember him getting that many rebounds. I don't remember him shooting. I think he was three for six at the half. Um, you know, he lets the game, even in the second half, he didn't go hunting like, oh, I have this. I, I'm trying to get a triple-double. I mean, the last play he did because we wanted him to. But he just played the game, and I think he's, he's talented, um, but he just played the game, and, and he has a really good feel and instinct for playing. Jeff, uh, in the first half, Blake obviously picked up a close-second foul. How do you think your team responded to that situation of being without him, you know, without your choice of taking – yeah, I, I thought we responded well, but I think the main reason we responded was that we defended. Like, that's the big thing. I think they had 15 points at halftime, about a little bit over 14% from the field. I thought we just continued to defend. I put Blake back in the last little bit under two minutes, and it, that was a game situation. I wanted him to play with two fouls. There are going to be times this year when he has two that we're going to play him. So he's got to be able to play and still play hard without fouling in those situations. And I thought he handled that well. But we handled it well. Zach obviously went to the locker room real quick there after he ran into the scores table. 
what happened there? And I'm assuming he's okay. He's okay. It was his shoulder. Um, that's what I was told in the moment. I don't know the extent of it, but obviously he was able to come back and, and, and play. Jeff, I'm sure you've been witness to a lot of triple doubles in your time. Who are some of the great ones you've seen there? You know, I don't know in college if I've seen one live. I, I think – I think maybe when I played, I think Bob Sura from Florida State maybe had one again. Maybe. The last one I saw live in college was my brother. He had one against Buffalo. Uh, I can't remember what year he was at Carolina, sophomore or junior. But that's the last one I saw in person. Yeah. You know, I, I, I think we can shoot the basketball. That's something we've tried to be mindful of um, in recruiting the last couple of years. I, I thought we could have had more. We missed some that, you know, we'll make. You know, G missed some that were wide open that he's been making. Um, Blake missed a couple. Zach missed a couple. As long as we're generating good shots, I'm happy with it. And I feel confident that we'll make those shots. I thought he was terrific. You know, the kid Glasper had 23 points in their exhibition game, um, and he was one for 16, and a big part of that was Ish. Um, I thought he hunted them. I thought he went after him. I thought he his antenna was up. So I thought he did a really, really good job there in offense. He, For the most part, he let it come to him. Um, he's a guy that can drive and get fouled, and we think he can be a really efficient player with the guys we have around him. Thanks, Jeff.